Lord Brunson. Uh, you know, I'm going to just make this, uh, this video again. Uh, let me tell you something. Mr. Lord Brunson. You want to sit there and attack my age and me being doing this with uh, YouTube and all those other things, you know, that's okay. You can go ahead and try to act like a clown if you want to, man, because that's all you're being a clown, okay? You're saying things like, you know, I was 36 or 35 years old when the Cowboys last won the Super Bowl and all that stuff, you know. <laughs> you're funny, guy. You're kind of funny, but let me tell you Tyler Perry looking at something, okay? I don't give a damn if I got under 100 subscribers and you got 3,000 or 20,000. It doesn't matter to me. I'm going to tell your ass, your clown ass something that I'm going to tell anyone else who's an Eagles fan. You all suck ass. Okay? You, you, you're like a dirty washcloth that you never used before because your ass smell like one. Okay? Well, I shouldn't go that far, but anyway... It doesn't matter to me how old I am. Have you any idea how many YouTubers who are in the age of in the age of fifty who are doing YouTube's about their, their their favorite team? Those who are like late forties. Now you talk about how old I am or how how long I've been waiting a lifetime and shit. Well, like I asked the question of you, how old are you? you with those bags under your eyes, you look like you're about thirty five years old. So I'm assuming that you waited thirty five years for your team to win the Super Bowl. 35 years? All your entire life? So, so you sit there and talking that crap about me, about what, how long since it's been my team won. At least I watched my team win it five times. You will not see your freaking team win another one. You will not see it. Like I told you before, I'm going to tell all Eagles fans, go find Roger Goodell and tell Roger Goodell, thank you, uh, Uncle Roger, Thank you so much for helping us win the Super Bowl because if it wasn't for you, the Cowboys would have won the East. All right? If you hadn't suspended Zeke Elliott and suspended Randy Gregory and, 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 and um, Irving, okay, we would have never had a chance to get that Eastern Division. Thank him. And keep thanking him because that's the last Super Bowl your asses will ever see. I hear that crap what you got to say, man. You talking that crazy crap to me? I don't give a shit how old I am. You may give a shit, but I don't. I, you know, if I had two subscribers, I'm going to tell you to still kiss my ass. All right? You and the old Eagles fan uh, fan base. All right? Don't make no sense to me, man. You, you make no sense, bro. You know, I, I, don't understand, I don't understand how you Eagles fans think. You act as if y'all won the Super Bowl two, three times in a row. Okay? You don't have a super freaking max team. You don't. I don't think you guys understand or realize the situation you're in now. There will be no suspensions now with Zeke Elliott and everybody else. Dak Prescott has been a better quarterback than Wentz Carlton Wentz has ever been. Because he's always beaten Carlton Wentz, except that one time. Okay? That's okay. He only beaten Dak Prescott one fucking time in these two, two seasons. So you need to calm the hell down. Ugh, you Eagles fans, man, you just make me laugh. You're just a, you're just a bunch of clowns. And that fucking fat ass Eagle speed. I mean, he's just running out behind you, but he don't have another channel no more because he got, he, he's getting tired of being toasted out. Shit, Eagles fans, fucking Eagles fans. Only, only a few. I only respect a few of you. Okay, the rest of you are a bunch of goddamn to me, as far as I'm concerned, a goddamn my bandwagon hype ass clowns. Including you, Lord Brunson, or should I say Medea? Okay, Medea? 